Got one from Jaybo today, the Luxotic NC, and we're gonna give you a chance to score. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Yeah, so this one comes from Wismec and Jaybo. All of it's designed by Jaybo. The NC in the Luxotic NC stands for Noisy Cricket. No, it's not North Carolina, even though you know, I'll take that because I live here, but it's a nice mod. If you like the Noisy Cricket and you like the way that it performs, this one is kind of the successor to it. It's got resin and stainless steel. It's got a little switch up here at the top that lets you go from parallel to series if you so prefer. It's got a potentiometer on here, so it's super easy to use. There's no USB on here because, well, there's no reason to put one on here. They want you to charge your batteries outside the mod in a dedicated charger, which you really should anyways if you if you have any opportunity to do so. It's got the V2 of the guillotine RDA on here, and you know what? I don't usually do a lot of bottom airflow. This one, it works really well. It does have the ability to squonk, but you know, since I was using it on this mod, I figured I'd just leave it in the regular dripping mode. I'm kind of digging it that way. Most of all, it performs really well, and I want to give you a chance to find out and a chance to score. All you got to do is fill out the Google form. It's right down below the video in the description. You are shipping only $10 PayPal fee in order to claim it. If you're outside the country, and you still want to enter, look for William Cooper down in the comments. And it's self-explanatory if you read his comment. He'll be your friend in the US. You just got to deal with that international stuff with him. Well, let's go ahead and dig in and let me show it to you. Juice I'm using this time around is from Vinyl and Vapor. Yeah, you may know him from Instagram and other social media. Really good artist, nice guy. And he actually has a juice line that's quite tasty. Deep cuts because, you know, vinyl and all that stuff. Side B, this is Psycho Crueler, like Psycho Killer. Yeah, it's really good. You know, a crueler is like a donut that's got the glaze on it and all that stuff and that's exactly what this tastes like it's very tasty all the warnings and stuff you would expect made by foxtail distro product in new york it's a 70 30 pg vg mix and i'll put a link down in the description where you can get the deep cuts from vinyl and vapor okay so here's the box this is the one that i have for you to score nice big plastic box so it's nice and secure here is the back of it so you can see what's inside there i'll leave that up for a second if you want to read that so I think I'm just gonna leave this one sealed up for you, all right? So we'll put that one aside. Let me show you the little sheet that they sent with it to give you some information on the mod right here. So there's some information up here at the top. The Guillotine V2 is a flavor-focused dual-coil RDA. Yeah, it's dual-coil. You're not gonna do a single in here. So you can do optionally on this series or parallel. In series mode, you can use the potentiometer on here to adjust it. In parallel mode, it's basically just like a mechanical mod. You're gonna be taking exactly what comes off of the battery. And as the battery decreases, your vape will as well so here's some of the parameters down here i'll pause that if you need to maximum output wattage on this is 250 watts and i'm going to say that's if you have dual 2700s in there colors red resin and green resin this one i guess is the red resin and i'm guessing that is green resin so inside the package you are going to get a manual which is very simple just a quick little primer on how to use the rda and how to use the mod you also get an extra drip tip for this thing. I guess if you wanted a longer Ultim drip tip to get you away from the top of the RDA, I just, I like the short profile one that's already on there. Little baggie right here had two coils in here, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Also a bunch of O-rings, some extra grub screws, and a set screw as well as an Allen key wrench for building. And this is what we're looking at right here. Let me show you a couple pictures of this before I actually did a build in it. So you can see the guillotine thing is because they've got two little blocks that basically lift up when you loosen up the top screws. You put your coils in there and drop them down. It's actually quite easy to build this thing. When you get your coils in here, as long as you have a couple of tools in there to hold them, they just sit right there and you just tighten those down. So it is very nice. And then looking from the top down, that's what the airflow looks like. So the airflow, it's nice. It kind of comes up along the sides of the bottom of your coils. So it's bottom airflow, but it kind of cradles it. And I like that. As you can see, it's pretty much a dual coil only though. There is no way to do a single coil also with the airflow. I mean, there's just no option for that. Now, one thing that you can do on this, and yeah, your logo is going to be upside down, but you can flip this. And if you put this on here like this, then it's going to cover those airflows on the bottom. Then you have side airflow and they actually are right at the coil. So, I mean, it does work. And, you know, if you can look past the logo being upside down, uh, but you know what? I found that I actually like this one in bottom airflow. You can see inside there, you can see right up into the airflow right there. And those little tubes just kind of, well, it's not really tubes. It just cuts right up inside there, though. So that's the way we're going to be doing it today. 
Now you can use a squonking pin because there is a pin in here for squonking. I haven't used this one in squonking mode yet because I've just been using it on here. Also the airflow on this is Ultim, which helps to keep the heat from transferring from the barrel up to this top piece because if you have a shorter profile drip tip on there, your lips might be touching that. So nice little touch on there. So to adjust the airflow, when you have bottom airflow, you're just gonna turn this to do that. And if you had the barrel flipped, you'd use this to adjust the airflow. So that's what that little set screw was inside there for. Guillotine V2, Jabo, Wismac, and this is a beauty ring right here, which actually takes us out to be about 25 millimeter. And it, you know what, beauty rings, they just make them look better, right? I mean, that looks great on here. Also, you do get cotton inside of the package. So you've got a stainless steel 510 on here. The 510 is not raised, so this also helps to protect your resin on there. As you see, that kind of just fits right around the 510 on there. Let's drop this on. It's better to put the actual beauty ring on when you have the cap on here. Otherwise, it's misaligned and you might have a hard time getting your cap on. But once you have it on there like that, you can pull it on and off, no problem. So you have two components here, stainless steel and resin. And it seems pretty solid to me. Resin is one of those subjective things though. You either like it or you don't, it seems. This looks really good. It's it's a real shiny resin. Sounds kind of hollow. I have the 18650s in here right now. And the way this works is you have these little sleeves that go on the 18650s. And of course you have 2700s, you just don't use the sleeves. You can see they have positive marked on the inside of there. So you just drop it in like that and like that. This basically has a little tab on it right there and contacts right there. It kind of slides in. What you got to do is push it down and over and it locks in there pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it coming off. You do have battery venting down here on the bottom. Luxotic NC, which is for noisy cricket. And the drip tip matches the body, which I, I do think that's cool. So you got a fire button right here, a potentiometer right here, and this switch up here. So looking at the manual, it does tell you that you can switch between series and parallel mode. If you're unfamiliar with that, basically parallel mode is gonna be like a mechanical mod. So whatever energy you have left in the batteries, whatever amperage you have, that's what you're gonna get when you push the fire button when it's in that mode. If you put it over into series mode, then you can actually use the potentiometer to adjust the voltage from between 1.3 volts and 5.3 volts. That's this right here. There is a little tiny arrow that's at the end of that, you can see, and so that's where it points. There are no numbers on here, so basically the way you want to use something like this is just start off low, adjust it, take a vape, adjust it, take a vape, adjust it, take a vape, until you find a comfortable spot for you. And how do you switch between those? Real simple, there's actually a big switch right here on the top. Five clicks turns it on and off, right now I've got it off. So in parallel mode, the switch is all the way over here, and in series mode, it's all the way over there. You can see that it switches, that's a red light. And when you put it over here, it's, it's really a white light that's in there. You can tell the difference. It's hard to tell the difference because the resin on here is red. By the way, it does have all of the different protections and stuff on here, atomizer protection, short circuit protection, low voltage, resistance, temperature protection, all of that. So that's a good thing to know. So parallel mode is over here. Series mode is switched over here. It's kind of a chunky switch. I kind of like the series mode because I can adjust it, you know? So we're just gonna take that all the way down. We'll pop this off of here and we're going to put this deep cuts in here right now. Now on this one, because your airflow is like right down there behind the coil, I kind of like to paint it and I just like to put it down right, you know. Actually, if you just drip it right down the center, you're pretty good. As long as it doesn't roll off of those coils. But when you got fresh cotton, I do like to paint it. It's got a pretty deep well, but you do have to be careful not to fill it past where those airflows are if you're going to be using bottom airflow. All right, it's on right now. To turn it off, one, two, three, four, five. To turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're in adjustment mode right now. That's doing pretty good right there. Kick this up a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. Let's just pull it over here for a second. So you can see that it is switched over to that mode. And in that mode, you do not adjust it. Take this all the way down. Yeah, so it takes a little bit longer, so it is working. Everything feels real nice on here. I mean, it's a pretty big mod. It's chunky. It's it's bigger than the original Noisy Cricket full show. All right, so we'll just put that on there and we're ready to go. So yeah, some people are gonna love the way it looks. Some people are gonna be like, meh, not so much. I, you know what? At first I thought it doesn't look so great, but then I started using it and I, I kind of grew on me. I dig it. As far as the RDA, the guillotine, it's a dual coil only, but you know what? If you're running it on a setup like this where you're going to run some high wattages, either if you're going to be running it, or you're going to get the full battery output, or if you're going to use the potentiometer, either way, you're going to be running some high wattages. So why the heck not, right? So potentially you could go up to 250 watts on this thing, but that would be with dual 2700s. I have used it that way, but I just don't have two of them charged up right now. So 
I put the 18650s in here and, and you know what? It functions quite well with those as well. So when it's in series mode, you can actually adjust the potentiometer on here to adjust the output on this, the voltage basically. And I've got it really low. I started it off like all the way, let me just do this. I'm gonna start it off all the way down. And while you can still get a hit, it's a pretty mellow hit. It's, let me go ahead and put some more of this. I'm putting the deep cuts in here. God, I gotta tell you what, vinyl and vapor, you've, you've really done a good job on this one. It's the Psycho Cruller. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so that was all the way down. Let's just turn this up just a tiny bit. Like, we're just gonna go, not even a third. I don't know if you can see that, but. Already makes a big difference. Now we're just gonna turn it like, okay, this is like, uh, we're gonna go halfway on this potentiometer between all the way down and all the way up. Now that is a hot vape right there. You couldn't even get a lot of vapor because it's so hot. We're just gonna turn it down a little bit. So that's really how you'd use something like this. You just gotta kind of adjust it, take a vape, see if you like it that way. If you like a hot vape, you can get a hot vape off of this thing. Yeah, that's quite nice. Just wanna check this build on here. It's been a couple days since I put it on here. Uh, 0 0.13 is what it's coming out to right now with dual coil. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna flick the switch over here, and we're gonna go with parallel. And that's actually a nice hit. So you're basically using it like a mech mod when you do that. I think most people who are gonna be using this though are gonna want to use it in series mode and go ahead and adjust it. You know what I mean? So you can adjust your potentiometer. She's a hot vape when you do that and you got that thing adjusted pretty high. And again, that right there is not even halfway on this potentiometer. I have to say when I first saw this RDA, I was like, okay, dual coil RDA with bottom airflow. All right, but you know what? This thing, it works really well. The flavor on this is, it's really very good. I definitely can see myself using this more and maybe I'll put it in squonk mode and flip this you know, cap over and use it with the side airflow. Because even when you do the side airflow, it's pretty much right at the coils. So I think that's pretty versatile. You know, the logo is going to be upside down, but who cares? Overall, I'm really digging this kit and this juice right here, deep cuts from vinyl and vapor. <laughs> side B is what this one's called, Psycho Cruller. And it's just, man, it's like straight up a cruller donut. You know, it's that doughy donut with, with, the, uh, with the glaze on there. Yeah, for further use, I'm going to turn this down. Let me try. You know, the flavor changes also with the different heat and that the higher the heat on this, the more the flavor I seem to get, but I, it's too hot for me. Yeah, that's a lot more comfortable. So yeah, overall, I like the mod. Congratulations, Jabo. I think you've done a good job on this. And I, I, you know, I don't use a lot of dripping type mods and atomizers, but I think I'm going to leave this set up just the way it is and I'll be using this one. Listen, I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. You are awesome. It means the world to me. And just, you know, if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go and hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, I say it all the time, but it's important. You got to check from time to time to make sure that you still are subscribed. Don't know what that's all about, but YouTube does that randomly. Don't forget, I got links down there for advocacy, augustate.org, extremely important. I'm going to see if I can find the link for that Dr. Farsolino uh, survey for flavors, because that's also very important. You know, look, I'm an adult, but I like flavors. That is what's keeping me off of the cigarettes. And, you know, take those away. I might go back to cigarettes. I hate to say it. I, I really want to say I never would, but, you know, if this stuff tastes horrible, uh, when they go to tobacco and menthol, I, I can't stand it. And this is the only thing that's been able to keep me off of the cigarettes entirely. So I hope that doesn't happen. I also have links down there for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. So if you have one of those, I would appreciate a follow. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel. <laughs>